What's up, Mariners? It's Mr. Tanny back uh, with another video. I know that during this uh, shelter in place, a lot of scholars have a lot of new responsibilities at home, uh, especially with childcare and looking after little brothers and sisters, nieces and nephews and cousins. And so I thought I'd make a video of me reading a children's story so that you could play it for the people that you're looking after these days um, and give you a few minutes of time to yourself while they listen to uh, your assistant principal reading them uh, a little book. The name of the children's story is the Principal from the Black Lagoon. It's uh, appropriately um, read by an assistant principal, and it is by Mike Thaller. So to all the people watching this video, I hope you enjoy. The Principal from the Black Lagoon by Mike Thaller, pictures by Jared Lee. It's the third day of school. I've been sent to the principal's office. What a bummer. I hear the principal, Mrs. Green, is a real monster. Kids go to her office and never come back. The waiting room is supposed to be filled with bones and skeletons. Doris Fottle was sent there for chewing gum. They say her skeleton still has a bubble in its mouth. I walk in, take a seat. The rug is red. That's so the blood won't show. I hear she uses tall kids as coat racks. The short kids she feeds to her pet alligator. The fat ones she uses as paperweights. The thin ones she uses as bookmarks. I'm too young to be a bookmark. Then there's her 12 foot paddle. It's supposed to have poisoned spikes on it. If you're lucky, you can get put in the cages. She has them under her desk. If you're really lucky, you get sent home in chains. But most kids, she keeps for her experiments. Derek Bloom was sent here yesterday. They say he wound up with the head of a dog. They say Freddie Jones has, his, has the feet of a chicken and Eric Porter the hands of a hamster. I'm too good looking to have the ears of a rabbit. All I did was snatch Mrs. Jones's wig. It's very quiet today. Usually they say there's a lot of screaming. Maybe she's in a good mood. Even if I survive, this will affect my whole life. In the future, I'll be running for president. I'll be ahead in the polls, and then it will come out. I can see the headlines. Presidential candidate sent to the principal's office. Oh, oh, there's a shadow in the glass. Now I'm in the jaws of fate. The door slowly opens. There's a pretty woman standing there. She's a master of disguise. Come in, hubby. I go in. She closes the door behind me. I look around. There's only the coat rack. It doesn't look like anyone I know. I look around for the alligator. There's only a turtle. It looks a little like Randy Potts. Now, says Mrs. Green, are we having a little trouble in class? Well, says I, I, I was sweeping up the room and by accident, Mrs. Jones's wig got caught on the broom handle. Well, well, have to apologize, won't we? Yeah, yes we will. And the next time, we'll have to be more careful. Yes, we will, yes we will. Now run along. Is that all? Close the door. Boy, was I lucky. Those flowers on her desk were probably poisonous. Just one whiff. And, and you would turn purple and die. Fortunately, I held my breath. I went into her cave and I returned without the ears of a rabbit. I'll have to sweep her office sometime and see if she wears a wig. <laughs> 